Hi everyone, I'm Alain Provo from Solid Experts, welcoming you to the tips and tricks. So, if you remember well, on my last presentation, I was talking about a series about introduction to digital manufacturing, and we talked about MBD. So we learned how to insert uh, information for fabrication inside our 3D models, dimensioning, uh, standards, tolerancing, so a lot of stuff that could be done inside the 3D model. And the next step, logical, was doing production, so maybe some CAM machining on the, uh, on, on those parts. So let's go see, um, what I have for you today. So basically today, what I want to do is maybe talk a little bit about what are the solution inside SOLIDWORKS that are available to you. So according to if you did have uh, an annual uh, uh, support included in your uh, uh, subscription, well, then you have a license of SOLIDWORKS CAM standard inside your SOLIDWORKS. And this will enable you to do some machining um, on uh, 2.5 axis base machine. So this means that the Z plunging will be able to work out on your part. So many prismatic uh, part will be uh, able to be done on such a cam. So uh, either uh, uh, poach, drilling, uh, grooving, surfacing, uh, detouring or contouring a part, uh, uh, chamfers, uh, edges, name it, all kinds of machining action will be able to be done in the SOLIDWORKS CAM standards solution. So basically a part like this can be done on a SOLIDWORKS standard CAM solution. Um, also, a uh, more complex part can be done. Uh, you'll see that in, in the next topo, uh, how some of the tools will uh, make you work even faster to create those uh, coding needed for the machines. And these are uh, some of the parts that can be done on on with the SOLIDWORKS CAM standard solution. After that, if you need a better uh, option of uh, CAM, uh, we have the SOLIDWORKS CAM Pro solution that can be bought. And this means you get a second license that is a pro solution with the tools to be able to uh, do also milling uh, um, on a cylindrical part. So um, not just milling, but turning on, on parts. Um, also, you'll be able to work on configuration of the parts. So this means if you have a part with different configu configurations, then you'll be able to do the CAM on also the other configuration in that part. You'll be able to work on assemblies. This means you'll have your part on the table of your CAM machine with the, the, the pinch that holds your part to be able to see them and the collision it would cause to your tool and, and make them uh, a code so that they're not included in the, in the path of your of your uh, of your tool and we'll be able to do three to four and five uh, axes but indexed in the SolidWorks CAM Pro solution and there's also the volume mill function that's in there to optimize the way the the, the path is created so that there's less impact of the head of the tool into the mat uh, the the model so this will save your tool and also time of machining. So this is a, a very nice solution inside the SOLIDWORKS CAM. Um, so turning like this will be able to be done inside the SOLIDWORKS CAM Pro. You'll be able to machine parts, like I said, in assembly. So it, it makes it even more uh, effective to uh, bring out the CAM. So these are some of the examples that you'll be able to uh, to create with SOLIDWORKS CAM Hope solution inside your SOLIDWORKS. So I hope this will have 
um, catch your eye so that the next presentation will be working uh, a quick uh, little uh, setup inside SolidWorks CAM standard so we can see how easy it is for you to use it. So until next time, I'm Alain Provo saying thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.